Nollywood greatest legend of all time, Sapet Iduchi, is trending online with Idris Elba and the producer of this particular movie I'm about to tell you right now. When I know say our legend uh, Sapet Iduchi uh, was a uh, long time and years ago casted in this movie, things fall apart. Uh, right about now, he be like say the producer, what did they call? David Oyelowo popularly known as uh, David O, a British American actor and a director. He is actually a Nigerian. Some said he is from Yoruba, so he is a Nigerian blood. He is to cast Idris Elba as the Okonko. Now the question is, can Idris interpret this movie just like the real Okonko blood? Can he speak the language? Can he twist his accent? I don't say Okonko. It's an emotic warrior. If only the executive producer can run this movie on epic level. And don't forget, Things Fall Apart was published in 1958, and this particular story and novel has been translated in 60 languages. So this movie that is about to be produced has been attracting so many questions and artists that should be uh, casted in this movie. So from you, what till you think about this matter? Because this matter, as if it's so, you don't need tie rapper. Uh, so many people don't they suggest, or so many fans don't they suggest the calibers of uh, Nigerian actors with this producer for use instead of Idris Elba. So, but me at the talk say, hey, Nigerian production and Hollywood production don't be the same thing though. These people they invest so much money, and you can't expect them to come and invest so much money in production like this. No disrespect, but these people they invest so much on their production. As some other Nigerian producers, they believe say eh, this face will sell my movie. Now, so these people also they believe say now this face go sell their movie. Everybody they run their business to make again. So na so it be, na so the business be. Entertainment industry, <laughs> na face, na how did they use? Push their brand. So you know easy at all at all. Me, I they ask. Waiting, you think about this matter based on a uh, uh, cultural language wise. For things fall apart adaptation. Drop and for comment section.
I saved your life. 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 I Nigerian, um, and uh, some of you will know what that means. And, and so when I said to him, I, uh, I uh, wanted to be an actor, and I was going to go to Lambda, he said, ah, eh? <laughs> to be an act, you want to be a court jester? <laughs> um, mind you, I mean, like... <laughs> He said, I, I, are you not going to have a degree? I said, well, no, it's a, it's a, it's a diploma. Diploma? <laughs> what is a diploma? So, the fact that I'm getting an honorary degree, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really amazing moment for me. Value, family, Friends, faith over this. What do I mean by that? It is amazing what we get to do. Sean is right. What we do shifts culture. I have seen it. I have seen lives changed. I've seen minds changed. I've seen people get educated. I have seen the world shift on its axis through story. But none of that means anything if you don't value your key and core relationships. Do not build your life on this rock because it is sand. And what I mean by that is it is impossible to hold. You cannot hold this. No matter how successful you get, someone will reject you. No matter how secure you feel, there will be insecurity. You cannot hold it, but what you can hold are your core relationships, your family. If that's something you want, our profession is disastrous for families. Disastrous. I have a two-week rule with my wife. Ben adopted it with his wife, Sophie. Well done, Ben. <laughs> From when I uh, was first at the RSC, uh, the plays that Ben talked about, I got Orinoco, Volponi, and Anthony and Cleopatra. My wife and I, we got married at, 21, at 22 and 20. And uh, so very young. But we naively promised each other that we would never be apart for more than two weeks. That is almost impossible in our profession. But we've been married for 25 years, and we only broke it once by 11 hours. <laughs> so pissed at Tim Burton. <laughs> but it's the foundation. And what I mean by that, we moved to LA. I was doing well, just done a film with George Lucas, all of it. Then there was a strike. Sound familiar? In 2008, I didn't work for 14 months. Two kids, a third on the way, down to three dollars in my wallet, literally. Not like a, like three. I like I looked. What three one dollar bills? I gave two to my wife. I had one. We went to bed that night. We looked at each other. In a truly devastating moment. And I never felt more in love with my wife in that moment than any time prior. Why? Because in the middle of all of that, we had each other. We had each other. Feel free to like, share, and comment your mind on top every of our stories. And most important, make you hit the subscribe button today for more to read.